In this video, we'll go over the option chain function. The option chain function returns a full option chain for a given ticker symbol. First, we'll start by clicking on a cell, typing an equal sign, and then the name of our function, which is option chain. After that, we'll type in open parentheses, and our first parameter is our application key. You can see that my application key is in cell B1. Our next parameter is symbol. Here I'll enter XOM for Exxon Mobil. After that, we have start date. Start date allows us to specify the earliest expiring options which we'd like to be returned. Dates in Trade Defender are formatted with four digit years, two digit months, and two digit days. Here I'll enter March 15th, 2017. After that, we have end date. End date allows us to specify the latest expiring options which we'd like to be returned. I'll set this to be one year later. Next, we have columns. Columns allows us to specify which columns we'd like to be returned and in which order. If we leave this parameter blank, all columns will be returned. We'll start by typing a double quote and then the name of some columns. Here I'll enter the option symbol as well as some Greeks. After that, we have type. Type allows us to specify whether we'd like to see just calls just puts, or all. By default, this parameter is set to all. If we'd like to see just calls, we'd enter calls. For puts, we'd enter puts. For all options, we'd enter all. But as I mentioned, if we leave this blank, by default, all options will be returned. After that, we have values only. Values only allows us to specify whether we would or would not like to see column headers in the response. By default, this is set to zero, meaning that column headers will be returned, if we'd like to remove column headers, we'd enter 1. We'll leave this at 0. Our final parameter is transform. Transform allows us to specify whether we'd like our response to be vertical or horizontal. By default, this is set to 0 for vertical, but if we'd like our response to be horizontal, we'd set this to 1. We'll leave this at 0 as well. Then we'll type a close parentheses and hit enter. And here, you can see that the symbol, delta, gamma, and theta have been returned for options expiring between March 15th, 2017 and March 15th, 2018. For more information on this function or other functions, please check out tradedefender.com. For additional questions, email us at support at tradedefender.com. Thank you.